A drug treatment program that comes under fire from a former president. Narconon Arrowhead has had three deaths within a nine-month period, and now its former president is sounding off about what he says happens behind the facility's walls. Fox 25 first told you about the deaths at Narconon Arrowhead back in May. Well, since then, the Oklahoma Department of Mental Health launched an investigation into the facility in Canadian Oklahoma. Then, last month, after police found Stacy Murphy dead at the center, the Pittsburgh County District Attorney also started investigating. The DA is deciding whether to file criminal charges against Narconon for Mur Murphy's death. And last week, we told you how Senator Tom Ivester announced plans to file legislation aimed to regulate practices at drug treatment programs just like the one at Narconon Arrowhead. And now, one of the former leaders of Narconon is speaking about why he thinks the facility is more affiliated with Scientology than it claims to be. Fox 25's Marissa Mendelson spoke with Narconon Arrowhead's former president. She found out why he wants his voice heard now after keeping quiet for so long. Well, Lucas Cadden was the president of Narconon Arrowhead around two years. He said he not only worked there, but he also went through the drug treatment program. And Cadden thinks Narconon Arrowhead should be more open about its ties to the Church of Scientology. From a Narconon perspective, immediately what that tells me is that um, only were not apparently not doing jobs well enough to have even one happen, let alone three or four or more. After three deaths within a nine-month period at Narconon Arrowhead, the drug rehab facility's former president is coming forward. Any loss of life is, is hopefully unnecessary, and specifically in a case like this where they're going to a place for help and there's uh, potential or apparent negligence involved, um, that it's, it's absolutely tragic. Lucas Cadden started working for Narconon Arrowhead in December of 2000 after he went through the drug treatment program. A couple years later, he became president. Cadden no longer worked for the facility in 2009 when Casey Wernick was there. According to court documents in February of 2009, Wernick checked into Narconon. Around a month later, she died at a hospital. The lawsuit filed by her family says Wernick was at Narconon when she became seriously ill with an upper respiratory infection. It's tragic. Last month, Stacy Murphy became the third person to die in a nine-month period at Narconon Arrowhead. Stacy should not be dead. And her death should not be in vain. Hillary Holton and Gabriel Graves also died at the facility. We just need to find out what's going on and uh, get some answers and make, make it stop. Catton recently cut ties with the Church of Scientology. He thinks Narconon Arrowhead needs to be more open about its connection to the church. I think that if, if it were just honest with what it was and not pretend to be something it's not, then it would still get clients, they would know exactly what they're getting when they went there and not be potentially deceived or thinking otherwise. Narconon Arrowhead does mention the founder of the Church of Scientology on its website, L. Ron Hubbard. However, Catton says some people don't know who Hubbard is. The CEO of Narconon Arrowhead, Gary Smith, said in a statement to Fox 25, Narconon has always acknowledged that our organization received support from the Church of Scientology. But Catton says Narconon's involvement with Scientology goes beyond that. He says the facility teaches some of the courses taught in the Church of Scientology. The SANA program, the detoxification program, um, is based off the book Clear Body, Clear, Body, Clear Buying by L. Ron Hubbard. And it is, it is the same exact program, the same set of policies and procedures that are used at a church. Uh, it's just named something different. Um, the, the beginning communication exercises that they call training routines or TRs, um, they're also done inside of a church. Narconon CEO told us while most of the principles and rehabilitation methods used at Narconon can be found within the vast amount of information contained in the religion of Scientology materials, all of the materials pertaining to the Narconon recovery program have been completely secularized and contain no religious philosophy. Meanwhile, Catton does not think Narconon should shut its doors, but he does think it needs to be held accountable for the deaths that occurred. Given the situations and the tragedies recently, um, clearly there was medical attention that, that was not given. Otherwise, these people could have been saved, or at least uh, if not all, then I'm, I'm sure most of them could have been. 
Some former Narconon patients and family members are planning a protest at Narconon Arrowhead. It's scheduled for this Saturday and Fox 25 will be there. Now tomorrow night on the Fox 25 primetime news at 9, we'll show you why Narconon's former president says the facility's success rate is not as high as it says it is. And we'll tell you about the recruiting program where he says people are paid thousands of dollars to get people to sign up to attend Narconon Arrowhead. Meanwhile, Narconon CEO sent us a letter about the recent death on Arrowhead, and we posted the entire letter on our website, and if you'd like to read it, just go to okcfox.com slash link.